What would you do if your boss mandated you to participate in so-called diversity, equity, and inclusion training, which is just anti-white pablum? Arizona State University professor Owen Anderson told his superiors to take a long walk of a, off a short pier and sued the school. He joins us now, along with his attorney, John Riches, from the Goldwater Institute. And, uh, Professor, it's good to have you both, actually. But let me start with you, Professor. Give us these examples of, uh, of a DEI course that employees are required to sit through. I mean, what I, I've seen some of these, and, I, I mean, I was infuriated. Just I didn't, I wasn't even the employee. Just listening to this stuff is such nonsense. Yeah, well, thank you for having me on your show, Rob. And that's exactly right. This is not about inclusion or about how to work together in a diverse setting. Those are great. This DEI training goes far beyond that. And what it does is it uh, divides people up based on race, and then it assigns blame based on skin color. So, for example, if you're a part of the group they call whiteness, then you have unconscious bias, meaning even if you think you're not racist and you've done your best your whole life to not be racist, you still are because of your skin color. <laughs> I mean, we laugh, but it, it's, it's, it's infected everywhere. The university has responded uh, to your suit, issuing a statement to Newsmax that reads in part, the lawsuit filed by the Goldwater Institute regarding diversity at Arizona State University is false and without merit. ASU's commitment to providing a supportive and welcoming educational environment for students of all backgrounds will continue and the university will respond appropriately to the Institute's tactic. Um, all right. So what say you there, John? I'm not quite sure what tactic they're, they're referring <laughs> to. Um, look, state law is really clear, it, and it prohibits the taxpayer funding and the requirement that state employees mandatorily take training that's discriminatory, um, that's discriminatory based on race. And there's no dispute about what's in this training. Uh, we attached the entire training uh, to our lawsuit. And there's large portions of it that blatantly violate um, the letter of the law. And it raises some other problems for Dr. Anderson. Uh, there's a test at the end of this training, and then the school supplies the right answer for the test. And if the person taking it gets it wrong, well, then they can be subject to, to discipline and reported to their dean, which, of course, our Constitution does not allow. You can't compel somebody to agree with ideas that they, um, they may disagree with. Oh, and is ASU requiring students to take this garbage, too? I mean, is it infecting all types of courses and majors? Well, the Goldwater Institute just came out with a great report earlier this week showing how the, the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism is doing just that. <laughs> John, I, I just can't wait for the future here to see what these kids come out like. Um, John, so explain again briefly the lawsuit against the school. Yep. So um, last year, the Arizona legislature passed a law that said you can't spend taxpayer money and you can't require um, state employees to take a training that's discriminatory. And it lays out exactly what that means. If the training uh, assigns blame or judgment based on race, uh, it's going to fall under the prohibition of that statute. So um, ASU is aware of that law. Uh, for whatever reason, they've gone to great lengths. They've spent a great deal of money uh, creating and uh, disseminating this training. And they require all employees, including Dr. Anderson, to take it under threat of university punishment. And that's just not lawful here. Federal court or state court? Uh, state court. Oh, OK. Federally, have you seen through the courts them striking down this stuff? Some of it, I mean, when it when it when it borders on uh, or when it becomes unconstitutional and the way that usually comes up, and this is also a problem here, is when the government employer is trying to compel some particularly some particular viewpoint is trying to compel somebody to agree with something like they like they have in this case uh, that they may disagree with. Um, so um, this is both unlawful under state law and unconstitutional under Arizona's state constitution uh, and the federal First Amendment. Owen. Uh, I'm curious, have you faced any backlash from the, you know, the leftist mob on campus, especially in the faculty lounge? Well, yeah, you know, my um, I've, I've sat through faculty meetings where we're supposed to be discussing the business of our school and they turn into uh, opportunities to share far left wing political agendas. And I've raised questions about that. And I've said, hey, uh, e either we should spend that time on our just our school business, which is what it's for or allow all of us to express our political opinions. And I've been told, no, 
only these left-wing political opinions get to be talked about at our faculty meetings. So wait a minute, they, they automatically see you as white? Don't you get to identify what you want to be? Yeah, well, that's part of the problem here, right, is they, 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 they look at your skin color and they make a racial judgment based on that, which is the essence of racism. Right, exactly. Professor Owen Anderson, keep up the fight. And John Riches from the Goldwater Institute, good job by you guys. We'll be watching this. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Kate Middleton, princess of 